before, after. My name is Liz Kidder and I'm a dreadlock artist. Hey, it's six o'clock at night. It's getting dark out. I don't usually work at this time because I'm old and I'm sleepy at this time of the day. <laughs> and shiny. Um, but I will make exceptions for very few people. Like, probably just one. And she's coming in now. So let's go get her. <laughs> this is my sister-in-law, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Hi. So, what are we doing today? I'm gonna just give you oh, okay. the camera while I kind of look back here. What is the plan? So the plan is to decorate these dreadlocks. Okay. And then we want to add a row, the next row here. Another whole row. Yeah. yeah. We have eight right now, is that right? Yes. How many will I have total? We'll probably, all right, so the next row up, the top of the section right now comes right behind your ear. Going up a row, we can come forward in front of the ear if you want, or I can keep it behind the ear for the next row. It's kind of up to you. If we come forward, you'll they'll be a little more visible, obviously, and there'll be more of them. We'd probably be adding like, I don't know, seven or eight. Mm -hmm. If we stay behind the ear, then we'd probably be adding like five or six. My only question would be is, when I put my hair up, how's that going to be? So typically with a partial, if we come forward on this row, I still would leave at least a little bit out on the hairline. So like enough for one section out. Okay. Loose so that when it's up, it doesn't look weird like you have one random dread right there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what do we think? If I don't go all the way forward here, we're going to do this circle-y thing. The circle -y thing. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't, if we take that next row and just keep it behind the ear, yeah, yeah, I guess it's kind of, I like round the corners a little bit so you don't have this like harsh corner right here. Does okay. that make sense? Mm -hmm. But it's kind of another row. It's just on those front two, I round I want to do corners. that one. Okay, perfect. Cool, let's take a closer <laughs> look. Do, do, do. I'm working in my socks since I know her. <laughs> So while I'm getting going here, working on your hair, why don't you share with the people a little bit about your your dreadlock story? All right, here. let's do okay. it. Let's do this. <laughs> so my dreadlock story. I've known Liz, Elizabeth Kidder, since high school. She was always the gymnast, the pretty one, cheerleader. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Too much information, Liz said. Yeah, known Liz forever. And then all of a sudden I married her brother. My brother <laughs> locked out on that one. And going with this. Um, that's my dreadlock story. <laughs> So, okay, you have perfect hair for dreadlocks. I yes. knew you for how many years? 10 years, 15 years before you started dreadlocks. So what yeah. made you finally want to go for it? Since my hair is so curly, almost every time I comb my hair, I'd be combing out dreadlocks in the back of my hair. And I said, just make it permanent. And Liz is always like, hey, let's do it. It's going to be so great. So we did it. We started with three on one side, added more. Wait, tell them why did we only start with three? Yeah, Liz told me to start with three, just to, I don't know why. Because I was worried with her curly, curly oh, hair yeah. that they were gonna get tangled, um, and yeah. that it would be like a constant pain in the butt of sectioning out like the loose hair from the dreadlocks. So we started with just the three to see how that would go, and she was fine with it. Yep, much better than combing out dreadlocks just separating them. I could handle that. Yeah. So we added more and here we are adding more. <laughs> That's how they work, <laughs> partials. They're addicting. Also, one more thing, your hairdresser. Yes. And so I don't know why that's relevant. I guess it's relevant more to the next part of the story. So what happened after you So my hairdresser and 
I don't practice right now because I have two beautiful children. Chloe and Jason, love you guys. <laughs> Hi guys, love you. <laughs> so I wanted a little side gig and my sister-in-law, Elizabeth, was like, hey, let me teach you how to make extensions. So now I make extensions for my job and I love it. It's so fun. Yeah, I'm just so thankful for this girl right here. And I'm thankful because I just like don't have time to do everything. And so most of the extensions that you see on the wall in my studio, all the synthetics and the volume extensions, the human hair volume extensions are made by Danielle. Woo! Woo! Thanks for doing my hair. <laughs> Alright guys, bye. See you next week.